Hello, and welcome to Microbiology. So to get into your course, you need to go into Canvas, use your Atlas username, Atlas password, and then you will get into Canvas and get to get access to your course. So here's your course. Here's the homepage for microbiology. So you just scroll down, you can see my office phone number, my virtual office hours. And when they're done, you can click on announcements. Announcements will always be posted every week regarding all the assignments, quizzes, and exams that you will complete for that particular week. And then when you're ready to access a course, click on modules. You wanna start with the orientation. You're gonna scroll down where it says start here. You can see um, syllabus, course schedule, textbook requirements, connect, policies, academic odyssey, course communications, and just many things that you need to know for the course. You must complete the syllabus quiz. It is your required attendance activity, so you're not reported as a no-show. And then when you're done, go into the icebreaker discussion board and post your um, initial post. Um, there is a pre and post test and pre and post lab survey questions that you will answer. And then all, everything that you need for the lab, the online virtual lab, is located in the microbiology lab module. And it starts by first week, and then it's divided by the lab exercises. So you have at lab exercise one, lab exercise two, three, four, five. Then you have your lab midterm practical review discussion board. And then the lab midterm practical, which is the halfway point of the lab, lab six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11, and then the lab final practical. Just make sure that for every lab exercise, first view the lab exercise PowerPoint presentation, watch all the videos associated with that lab, answer those pre and post lab questions and the aha moment question, and then complete your lab quiz. You just wanna do that for every single lab. And then if you look here, all of your modules for what's covered in the textbook is divided by exams. So we have exam um, chapters one, three, five, and six, and everything that you need for chapters one through six is located there. And then you'll go on to exam two, exam three, exam four, and exam five. So for every chapter, there's an overview for you, a PowerPoint presentation provided, notes, those PowerPoint and notes are really important because these are the main topics included in the chapter. There may be some animations or videos that go along with some of the concepts in that particular chapter. There's always questions. Those are not due for a grade, but they are highly um, recommended to answer to help understand the information in the chapter. There's some additional questions that go along um, with the chapter. There's gonna be a smart book module. There's also gonna be a homework assignment and also a quiz associated with each chapter. And then at the very end of these modules for the exams, you will complete the actual exam. So just make sure all work is completed by yourself. You have to complete this work independently. You're not working with a partner. Um, you're not using a friend or someone that's taken this class to complete this course. This course needs to be done by yourself. If you do not complete this course by yourself, that means that you are not following academic honesty, and this can be reported to the dean or even the campus president. Okay, Just make sure you're also writing all of the information, all of your answers in your own words. There is going to be an anti-plagiarism software that's called Unit Check that's going to make sure that everything that you write for your answers are always provided and you're answering everything in your own words. If you see a um, similarity report that marks 25% or more, you will receive zero points for that assignment. And just make sure when you're completing assignments and also lab practicals and exams, make sure you're designating nomenclature for cellular organisms. So some examples of first cellular organisms, we got bacteria, we got protozoa, helmets, fungi, they're all cellular. So just make sure for nomenclature for the genus and species, you start the first letter of the genus with a capital letter, all the letters in the genus are lowercase, and then all letters in the species are lowercase. Okay? I wish you the best of luck in the semester, and if you have any questions, please send me an email. You can also request a chat or a Zoom session, and I am here to help you. So good luck in microbiology.